G'day Worm Wranglers, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden. Now I've got something really different for you today. This is, I've never produced a video like this and it has a really unique story and a twist to it really. I don't know if you call it a twist, but this one here, this farm, right, that you saw in the other video. Now if you haven't seen the video to the makeup of this one yet, this tray farm, you need to check out the link above. I'll put it up here or whichever side it goes on and uh, go and check that out and then come back and then you'll be able to follow the progress of the story. If not, watch this and then go and watch that one and then come back to this one. Either way, I think you'll get it then. Now, the bedding that I made for this worm farm is basically so good. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm big noting myself here, right? But it's so good that the worms aren't going to the baited area, well, to the feeding station, right? And I've put banana peel down there. There's a few in there on the banana peel, but I put some avocado with cooked oats, two of the most favorite foods that they love. Now, the bedding that I made out of the cow manure and the different process of putting it together with the cocoa peat and different things, like I said, check out that video. And there's so much food in there, and the food that's in that bedding, that's actually a part of the bedding, really is what a lot of professional worm farmers would feed their worm farms, right? Such as really aged, aged good old cow manure. They just love that. If they start getting a feast on it, they'll start consuming it. So my guess is they're gonna eat all that cow manure first, and then they'll move to the feeding station. They're not even touching the avocado, and it's been in there for about four days or something now. Two days. They're in there, you know, full balled up avocado. But anyway, what I've decided to do, because I can't sort of go through and make this content showing you where the worms are moving, what they're feeding on and things, because they're just feeding all around the bedding, all through the bedding. And uh, I had to add an extra 100 or 200 worms to see if they'll chew through it faster and turn into castings, and then we can feed some zones. So what I'm doing is I'm starting this next worm farm here. And... This one is gonna have a bedding in it that come out of the compost tubler. And it's pretty much nearly sort of 70% worm cast, right? From my compost that comes out of home and you know, a bit of coffee grounds from the cafes and newspaper, cardboard, right? it's really heavy, like it weighs a ton. There's probably about eight liters in here. And uh, yeah, the worms are basically I don't know how many they're in here. I just sort of grab the worms out of the compost tub and throw it throw it in here and they'll have to go for the food because a lot of the food is run out. It's exhausted in this bedding. And then I'll be able to harvest this bedding really quickly once they go through the foods and, uh, yeah, and turn it into, uh, you know, a bedding to grow plants in, which is going to be really awesome because I want to show you the plants I'm going to grow from this worm farm. And uh, look, what I'll do is I'll change the camera angle down in here so you can get a better look at what's going on because a lot of the worms will be down deep in here, I'd say, down at the bottom, and uh, you'll get a good look at what's going on. And so will I. We're gonna start this second tray worm farm. Pretty excited. So here we go. Let's put this bedding in here. Let's see what we've got. Like I said, there's about eight liters. You can see a few worms, a bit of crushed eggshell. And the worms are actually like right through the material. Thought they'd be more right at the bottom. And we can see them all on the top here. And I would say, yeah, there's, look, there's enough worms in here to go through this material, no doubt about it. And there's a few extra ones in here that I'll have to save out of the bucket. So, yeah, there's enough worms in here and they look like mostly a Cena Fatita and a few different other small ones, maybe some reds and some blues in here as well. But ones that like feeding in the top upper reach of the worm farms and this is the type that I'm trying to get into these, into these systems. So if you look in this material, it is already rich, black and humusy, like it's come out of the compost tumbler. It's, you can even feel like 
and you've put cardboard, the carbon in there as well, it feels different to say like a casting that's come from, say, just mushroom compost alone, which is much more dense. It feels like a lighter casting. But there's lots of little red worms in here, and so pretty happy to have them in here. They seem to be mostly of the yellow tails. So I'd say most of them are the tigers, the red wigglers. And my guess is probably... And it'd be close to a 1,000 in here, but they're all spread right out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just set this up. There's already a little bit of food in here, so they'll settle in for a day or two. And then we'll start feeding the system. But I don't know, maybe we can feed it right now at one end. I reckon that's the go. We'll start doing that. After thinking about it a little, I thought I should feed this bin too. So this is the cow manure cardboard with the old recycled cocoa fibre in here. And next to it is the black bin, which just has the older material that's basically nearly all castings and compost. So I'm really excited to get over to this bin over here and feed over there. So it'll be a bit of a competition because they'll both be fed the same amount at the same time. We'll see whether they move away from the cow manure and into this recipe. Maybe it'll be an attractant to them, but we'll find out. Anyway, let's move over to this bin over here and get it fed. So what will I need for this feeding? Well, I'll need my food, which is the recipe. I will need a water bottle, dechlorinated water. It's been sitting for 24 hours. And I'll need a couple of pieces of cardboard. I'm going to use these to protect the food. Well, not protect the food. You'll see in a second. So what's in this recipe? Well, we've got about six teaspoons, or tablespoons, sorry, of oats. So it's that quick cooking oats. So I powdered it right down. And then around about the same amount of coffee grounds and 10% eggshell. Now, the eggshell is more for the calcium for inside the system. And, you know, obviously there's grit for the coffee grounds and they love oats, right? So when you cook the oats, they really get into it. And so the theory is, is that coffee grounds from the nitrogen should set off the rest of the food in there and the feeding process as soon as it starts getting wet, it should start attracting the worms. Coffee grounds seems to have a way of attracting compost worms, which is really exciting. So now what I've got here, I've got this piece of cardboard and I've done this exactly in the blue bin as well. And I'm gonna fold it down and slide it at the back here up against this plastic wall. It's just really, so when I go to harvest or I go to look at the worms, I can easily pull it back. And you'll see that in videos when they're coming up. And so I'm gonna fold this back so you can get a better look at the bedding. Now they've all gone down because I've been playing around in here and sort of disturbing it. Actually, I've got the wrong cardboard. This one's the small one's got to go at the back here. Silly me. Just to give a bit of protection at the top there when we're looking at the worms. All right, so the bedding's all ready to go. Let's fire away and put this nice Yummy food, it's like a worm chow, my own first recipe. Let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments box down below. I'm gonna put it on nice and thick at one end and then thin it out just a little bit on the edges, just to sort of attract them in and give them a little bit of a taste test. And I reckon it'll take them around about two days to sort of move into this. These guys will be hungry. I did leave them for 24 hours before deciding to feed them. So I've come back later, and this is my favorite container now for feeding them. Let's get the water bottle, give it a good spray. So you want it nice and damp. And there's a whole lot of microbes in this system already, right? Because this come out of the compost tumbler, which is like an amazing system for growing microbes and it uh, gets a light, large variety of food in the compost tumbler, so it has a large variety of microbes, which are gonna be all through this bedding. They're gonna come in here now, that's looking nice and wet now, really happy with that, and I'll come in each day and wet that down. I'm gonna cover that over now, 
to keep that nice and dark. Now when I fold that back, it should be able, it should be able to see the worms really easy. I won't disturb them when I pull the blanket back. I probably could have made a longer piece of cardboard, maybe I will later, but we'll just fold that back there like that. That's my first worm recipe. Let me know what you think about it in the comments box down below. If you're digging it, give us a big thumbs up and I'll see you at the next video real soon. Links in the description. Plenty more to learn about worm farming on this channel. Just check everything out around here, cards and all that type of stuff. And we'll see you at the next video real soon. Woo, bye for now.